Hey Aquarius, type in your four ones, the opening of the spirit realm, and take a beautiful deep breath in. Deep, 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 challenging your human, kissing your higher self, and let it out. This is your time. We are entering the age of Aquarius, the age of Aquarius. Let me tell you, if no one told you, you are the most intelligent of the 12 zodiac signs, okay? I mean, super smart. Go after your dreams this time. This is your month. I'm telling you, this is your month. I feel like you've got a whole different grip on looking out for yourself. It's okay to look out for you first. Where you're always worried about the family and all of that. I feel like now you should not be concerned about somebody hating you. Because I know secretly you, you really do. You're concerned about that. You just want to do what's good for everybody. Kind of, you know, you're really good at mediating and diffusing. I just feel like you came into December with that change. You understand that there's a different dynamic in your house. There's a different that different dynamic in your home, rather. Not just the house. It's in family. It's in your connections with others. And you're needing to really do what's right for you. What is it that you want? It's not about what your children want. It's not about what your parents want. It's not about what the family wants right now. It's really more on what is it that you want? What is it that you soul desire? What is that for you? And I feel like I'm sorry about the reflection there. But it is, let's see if I could put that a little bit better. What is it that you want? Because spirit is like gift wrapping it you to you. Okay? Now, I do feel like you've gone through some pain. A very, very tough um, past. I feel like um, something dried up. Something is, you might have had death in the family and you've got to move forward. You might have had, you suffered a loss. That's what I feel. But spirit is gift wrapping you a blessing. And I feel like you are facing towards that truth. That it is a blessing. But you've got to realign with how you've done relationship. And it's what do you desire. So I think that that's really big for you. Because at the end of the month, it's what's healthiest for me. That's your... That's what you're walking into. It's, you know, a, a healthier future. It is um, health and wellness for sure. If you're having any health concerns, this is the time where I feel like you're looking at innovative um, technology and solutions that are way more uh, natural and high tech, like future thinking and being very open minded. Um, it takes a challenge, for real, for you, because you're so focused on other people and, you know, good for all. But sometimes that creates a toxic relationship because you are more, oh, I don't want them to not like me. Um, I just want to go with the flow and just not rock the boat. And that's not going to be the way to go. I really feel like for you to get out of the funk that you might be in, change your narrative towards relationships and change the image of it because it's this is a beautiful new six-month transit and it's just boom, 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 boom. And blessings in your relationship life and in your affiliation, your membership. And this is still, you know, with the job. This is with um, sororities, fraternities. This is any membership you're, you know, maybe, you, maybe you're a member in a club or a group in uh, social media. 
um, anything like that. This is how can you be open to giving and receiving? Because that's the natural law, law of the universe. And so if you've been a little selfish there, focused on yourself, this is the time to really change that. But I feel like more so, dear Aquarius, that you've been so focused on other people. And it could be one person in particular that just, I feel like it has created a very toxic energy between you. And now it's going to be hard to, to release it. But you have to in order for that energy of the toxic, unhealthy energy to go and the beautiful, healthy energy to come in and flow and really bless you. Remember that you come first, the soul within your human, okay? The soul within you comes first and you're facing that direction. You are facing the unknown. It's a little scary, but the dove of peace is right there in you, so you're doing the right thing. In the past circumstances, this tremendously difficult thing that might have happened to you is what's forming your decision to break the toxic connections and to really receive what the universe is giving you because you're so loving. And you're so kind and you're so full of just generosity, just emotional energy that you keep inside. And that's why I think people are like, you know, oh, you're so unemotional. No, not true. It's it's a it's a you're very good at holding it inside and away from other people, but deep inside you really do care. This is a time for you to get what you desire. This is in your hopes, wishes, and dreams, this solar eclipse. And this is magnificent energy that is really meant to bless you for the duration of your life. But for the next six months, it's super, super big. So your answers are coming. As you question this new path that Spirit has you on. I feel like the dynamics with your children have changed. Anybody that has children. I feel like the dynamic between you and your parents have changed. For anyone that, you know, is in connection with your parent. I feel like just that understanding of we need healthy energy. In our relationship and the adjustments that need to be made are you can do this I do feel like both of those want to come out you can do this even though it's a little scary you've got this I promise you you have got this okay so love is coming in romantic love but you've got this so now is the time for you to really show up in your own energy and have that full release in your relationship life to really show up for who you are inside and allow that, that emotional side of you, the water bearer, to come on out and just coat that situation, coat the relationship with that love. You know, you're just going to pour it right on out, lead with love, coat it with love, and just know that you've got this. Whether it is in your income, uh, whether it is in your love life, your spiritual life, your physical fitness, mental health, every area of life. And I feel like you feel it. I feel like you know that spirit is pulling you into this direction of what's healthiest for you. And you may not know what, what's healthiest for you. You may not know what that looks like or feels like yet. But go on your spiritual guidance. The answers are going to come with, within your dreams. The epiphanies that you just hear out of the blue. You receive this message that comes out of the air. And you're just like, what? I never thought of that before. And that's because that's spirit. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Divine Source, thank you so much for allowing me to channel Aquarius' spiritual guidance. Whoa! Did you see that? With 100% accuracy. Thank you so much. Oh! Wow. Thank you so much. I felt that in my toes. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. What's going on with yours? Oh goodness. Aquarius, what's going on with you? It's time. It's time. It's time. Chemistry is in the air. Oh my goodness. Chemistry is in the air. Compromise. Dating. It can be frightening. It's a new experience. But it brings new emotions. And so as Spirit said, you know, show them the real you. Show them your beautiful, weird self. Because I feel like that is what's going to be like, oh my gosh, they're just like me. We're one and the same. We're so soulmates. You know? And then you get to understand that the universe really is blessing you with an amazing connection here with someone that understands you. So enjoy that flirtatious energy. I feel like last month, you got it. Because the full moon was all about true love. So I feel like Many of you were like, November 30th, you come into December like, you know what? I need love. I need a connection with somebody authentic. And I need to not hide who I am anymore. I need to just be who I am. So, whether you're single or coupled up, Spirit is reminding you of the power in karmic balance, in relationship life. Let go of the control and seek new ways to achieve the relationship harmony that you desire. Release yourself from the karmic ties to control the outcome and stop feeding fear. Because it's good. Look at you standing in the sea of emotional energy. It's yours. Love it. So, there is a new person in your life and let them in they might be checking you out they might be afraid to even say something to you because they're seeing someone else they're not seeing who you're showing up as they're seeing the who you want them to see no no more you let them see the real you that's beautiful as far as your money goes please receive that that promotion please receive um, from your clients and your customers by just showing up and giving and just being who you are. Let go and allow the universe to just gift you with some things that you didn't even know that you deserved. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. like with the chariot you know things are there things are at a pause um in those moments of it feels like you're in a timeless moment that's because you got options and in that moment spirit's asking you to decide and you're gonna decide by focusing on absolutely what it is you desire okay also, things are, you know, you, the potential is there to get moving. But this is a powerful do-over for you this month. And I feel like Spirit is saying, you know what, when you pause and you need those answers to come in, they're going to come because you got options. Um, I do feel like you had a really tough past couple of months. Something happened that was devastating. And I am really sorry to hear about that, Aquarius. I just feel like you've been beat up. feel like you feel like you're alone. The shift has happened. The tide is changing, honey. It has already started. And you've got love knocking at your door. You've got true love. This is romantic. This is fall back in love with you. 
and let that other person connect with who you are because you're showing up in your truth. So yeah, a lot of you, I feel like you've just been abused. You've been taken for granted. Okay. You have been mistreated. But honey, you got options. You do not have to settle. Um, this is a purpose-driven life, too, for you. This is something that you love to do, that you can really do 24 hours a day for free. So don't settle for the job or the kind of work that you feel like you have to settle and do. You certainly do not. You don't have to settle for anything. You've got options, and there's no need to be bored. There's no need to... Look at it any other way than that your half, your cup is half full and you're ready to be stable and secure and receive that abundant wealth of income and stability. And I just feel like absolutely you've got to let go of some toxic connections there. I feel like there's one in particular, whether it's at the job, whether it is the company. Uh, whether it is an intimate person that you are around or the company you keep. But you've made a decision to move past that conflict. There was that crossroads that was very, very painful. Um, and I feel like it stopped you in your tracks for sure. But I feel like many of you knew, you know, I got options. I'm going to exercise those options. And now I, I do feel... This dating energy I think that you know I can I can enjoy myself and have some conversations and I'm in connection with somebody that makes me feel really good and this is the change you know I think you're fearing the change don't fear the change Aquarius it's gonna be okay it is emotionally intense but if we're entering your sign your energy honey we love your energy so anybody that couldn't appreciate it, don't even worry about them. You are letting yourself go from the toxic connection you have with another. You released it. You released this um, third party that's in your love life. This You have released the unhealthy energy between you and your place of work, your business, customers, business partners, the whole company itself, you have just said, you know what, I'm not going to be apathetic. I know I have options in every area of my life. I've been hurt in the past. I got to take a minute, slow down. I know that I'm not at the crossroads anymore because I'm moving forward. I have stability. I have wealth. I have security. I have love that is grounded. And I'm just changing the dynamic of every relationship in my life because I'm focused more on me and what's healthiest for me now. I don't care who doesn't like it because I'm not focused on people pleasing. I'm making the adjustments that are necessary. And let's see what you are hoping for secretly. Thank you so much, Divine Source. And, you know, got that message coming in. You know, this is, someone's bearing a, an amazing offer. Check out the business opportunity, ooh, that you're getting offered. You know, make sure you're not assuming that it's a pyramid scheme or it's a um, get rich quick. Certainly don't accept any of those. But make sure that you're looking at it because there's something here that you're going to have to weed, you know, past. And you're going to have to be like, oh. This is it. Oh my gosh, this is it. You got this. You're the engine that could. You definitely can. It's going to be the right thing to do. You're hoping for success. This is definitely it. You've got the skills to do it. You've got the talent. You've got the ability. I told you you're the most intelligent of the, the star signs. And you've made that decision. You knew that you had several options. And um, that's in every area of your life, and you've made that decision. And I feel like you've got that choice to make, what's healthy, what's not. And it's all in how your relationships make you feel. 
And just remember that you don't ever have to compromise your values. You're compromising what you've believed before and the adjustments that you have to make in order to show up and be the real you. So I love this for you. Oh my gosh, I love that. Dear Aquarius, if there's anything I can do for you, let me know. You know what? Something has blessed every area of my life, every area of my family's lives. We're tremendously blessed. Even during this pandemic, we are just seeing a lot of flow, okay? So if I can share it with you, I'm happy to do that. Let's you and I have a chat. Click the links down below. And if there's anything else I can do for you, honey,